Welcome again uh, to Gill Welding and Fabrication. We have a video for you here on an installation of the Dutra Duals with the PBT AC turbo system for the Slant 6. Um, what we're going to do here is show you how it, um, it all goes together and we're going to try to make this short and sweet here so um, you can uh, be able to put things on your car quickly and be able to tighten it down decently. All right, the first thing we're going to do, and you can do this with the AC on it, this V-twin AC up here. Now, right here we have these um, kind of a special conical fastener that we use, and we send these in the kit, and uh, we generally um, countersink just a little bit on the Dutra, and what that does is to help to center it. And what I do is I generally will start it, and then you just kind of let it hang and it'll hang in there you know decently grab this other one here and i can come in underneath with the small starter which is what you really need to be using with the dutras anyway this right here will start this one in Okay, now these two holes here, right here, we have our new bar. This is our new alignment bar, and it's actually a lot bigger than the old alignment bar. And what we'll, and it comes with uh, with the fasteners with it. And right now we're just using so just kind of loosely using these fasteners, no washers or anything, just to kind of show you how to go about it. And we start these. Now, the beauty of this bar is it does keep everything in square with this manifold. And this is a, a Mark II series gill welding fabrication manifold. And uh, what I'm going to do here is tight, show you how to tighten this down. What you do with these is you'll just tighten these down till they're snug. You just feel them; they're just lightly snug. You don't want them. You don't want them tight at all. You just want them where you start down, just kind of lightly tighten it up. Then you'll come over here and you'll tighten these outside screws, and that'll help to center it up. And you just lightly do those. Bring this one in. Get it going. You can see it pulling it together. Let's do a little bit more over here. Now at this point, I'll just snug it just a little bit there. Not Gorilla Torque now, but just snug it. And then just snug this one a little bit, a little bit tougher. And then take these and come in here and you can go ahead and just, you know, snug those pretty good. Don't over torque those either. And oh, here's a future product we'll be doing a video on the future a crank trigger system for the slant six now with your bar up here the beauty now is everything's in alignment here it's keeping everything just where you want it now would be the time that you would put all your bat wings and all your fasteners on the rest of it and then torque it to the factory spec when you get that done then we would go move to this uh, the bottom part of the turbo system, which we're going to go ahead and do now. Um, also, with this up here, when you heat the engine up for the first time, I would let it bring it up to temperature. Just let it sit there and idle for, you know, maybe four or five minutes at temperature. Then when you shut it off, you'll let everything cool all the way down. Then I would retorque everything. Um, all the stainless and the cast iron pieces, they all will move around a little bit when the heat gets to them. Like expansion, contraction, all that. So every so often, I would say with these Dutras uh, and the stainless pieces that we have in our kit, that you should go back and just do a, just to do a light retorque on everything. Uh, all right, now let's get on to the, the pops. First thing we're going to do here is this is our pop, is our merge pop right here. And uh, 
this is our main pipe going up to the turbo and we have a a bracket that we that we send with the kit and it fits on all of the uh, all of the AC the RV twin ACs all have this um, uh, this mounting point on them and I'm not using the exact correct um, fastener that we would send you I would send you a, it's a, a different fastener for this one um, but they'll be stainless. We use all stainless in our fasteners unless it's something that has a lot of stress to it Then we'll use something like a grade 8 type bolt, but the stainless that we have is um, is fine. It's strong and it, It'll do the job so This bracket will go right here. It's pretty simple And of course this is, is a lot easier because it's out of the car But we're showing you the way you would do it even if it was in the car and then what we'll do is we'll slide this on here. And basically I'm just gonna run just some loose bolts in here just to kind of keep it in spot. We're not really gonna put the turbo on it right now. And here's what we'll do. Let's see, where's my other pop here? Let's see, we've got a big main pop. Okay, it's your front one. The front you'll have your gasket and uh, and your bolts and we'll send these these will be in stainless and they'll have other they'll have lock washers and and um and flat washers but for right now we're not going to worry about that now what i'll do here is this is a slip joint and this slip joint will go if you look inside right here you can see there's another pipe that's actually the pipe on on the outside here this slip joint that pipe goes inside this and this outside pipe covers it and what happens is when you do this get this on here there we go now I'll put this up on here what you do is when you put that on there and once it heats up it will actually seal itself from expansion uh, this is the same thing a lot of aircraft use and I like it because you know that was what I was uh, was around for a long time was aircraft and um, I like to use a lot of the aircraft stuff on automotive if i can on our products let's see if i can get my hand up. i can get my hand up in there a little bit differently okay now i'm just going to run these down till they're about finger tight and you're leaving this whole system kind of loose right now um, you're not going to torque anything down just leave it kind of loose so it floats around Okay, and now we'll take our rear pipe, and our rear pipe will do the same thing to it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get that in there on that particular deal. Here we go. A little snug right there with this particular manifold. Okay. Get our bolts. Got our gasket in there. Let me see what I'm doing here. One reason you leave it loose is so it will float. Look at this other bolt in here. It actually fits in there real easy. It's just got to, if I could just find the threads there, I'll be fine. Okay. So now I've got these on there. We're going to do finger tight on these. Okay. Now, this... These will be allowed to slide just a little bit right here. And what we'll do is normally you'd have your turbo sitting right here and you would bolt down up through here. And I've just got these in here just to hold it in place. And just to kind of show you, we're just going to do this to kind of show you how it, um, how it kind of changes it a little bit when you have it all bolted down. So you would want to bolt that down next. 
the turbo on here. Now, this piece here is in its position with this. These pieces here, they will kind of pull themselves back or pull themselves forward when you start to tighten these. And I have a modified little um, Allen wrench. It's a 5 16 Allen. And uh, these are 3 8 16 bolts in here. And it makes it easier to get in here to get to these bolts. And it just is better if you can have one of these and just modify it. Just go out to some place and buy one and just make it the sacrificial tool just for this particular project. So, get my fingers in there. Now, as I tighten this, you can kind of look at the gap in between here. You kind of want to... If you can, you can try to get it to where the gap right next to the uh, to the Allen is equal. But one way or another, it's going to pull itself around like it needs to go. There we go. Give it a little bit of a bump with your hand. Now do the same thing over here. And tighten these in. And this one here, if I can tighten it in by hand, you can. If not, you'll have to walk it in with your Allen wrench. And on this particular manifold here on this is the Mark II. This Mark II, we're using a BBK uh, throttle body. And uh, they've been, they've worked out real well for us. And, uh, you know, we would recommend them to you too if this is... You know something that you're interested in doing that there's other different things you can use but this one seems to work the best okay it's now on it's installed uh, we just have the bbk basically just sitting up here uh, kind of loosely right now but this is what it looks like now let me grab the turbo excuse me just a second we have set this system up for an HX35 turbo. And basically, that just sits right down on here, uh, on that flange. It bolts through. This is, of course, a mock-up turbo that we have. We use it for everything on mock-up. And uh, it'll bolt through the flange. This is a T3 flange. The HX35s, uh, everything that we've run on the... the uh, on HX35s or T3s, um, this would be you bolt straight down through your bracket and uh, the turbo and uh, everything here, and it makes an excellent package. I mean, once it's on there, it's very sturdy. Uh, this is very sturdy. Let me show the other piece here, too. Your uh, bracket, let's see if I can remember this one. I'm a little confused on this one sometimes. Your AC bracket, um, it still fits in the same location. Your um, down here, you can't see it here, but we don't, and uh, we don't have our um, dipstick right with us. But the dipstick actually comes right up through here, and it clears everything. Um, that's kind of a nice little thing because nobody wants to have to go modifying that. And. Let's see if I can think of anything else. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's... Oh, well, there is one other thing. Yes. Uh, just about forgot about it. On this new alignment bar, being thicker this way, or actually taller, I should say, it's the same thickness as our old one, but it's double the size this way. What we'll have in the future is we're going to offer a heat shielding over the Dutras and it will bolt to this and it'll be something that you can have if you want it if you don't want it in the future these will have um on the next modification or the next revision that we do on these we're going to have these and we'll send the hardware in them which will make it look good even if you don't uh they'll use the same button stainless like this and you'll have those in here um and they'll just look you know it'll look like it's bolted there 
but when it comes to the shielding, if you don't want it, you still will get all the fasteners with this piece. And then if you do want the shielding, then it, we can send it as a package. And I think that's about all we have for you today. Um, thank you for watching the video, and I hope this helps you um, with this particular system when you purchase it.